The MSFS Centennial Awards honor our distinguished alumni whose life and work embody our program's core values, leadership, creativity, ethics, service, and inclusion. The awards committee, composed exclusively of MSFS alumni, received over 100 nominations. Our extraordinary nominees demonstrate the extent to which our graduates go on to work towards the betterment of all people. Ragnar Eilin Ono Dalton has exemplified principled leadership, creativity, and innovation throughout her distinguished career. As director of the OECD Development Center and as Iceland's Minister of Industry and Commerce and a member of the Icelandic Parliament, she has worked at the cutting edge of issues such as foreign policy, energy, and trade. She has demonstrated the impact that strong women have as political leaders on a wide variety of global challenges. A career foreign service officer, Ambassador Marcia Stevens Bloom Bernicott has served as U.S. Ambassador to Bangladesh, Senegal, and Guinea-Bissau. In these positions, she broke through multiple glass ceilings with grace and class. She continues to create a path for women and minorities in the diplomatic corps in her current position as the Director General of the Foreign Service and Director of Global Talent. Ambassador Bernicott has drawn on the MSFS values of leadership, ethics, inclusion, and service to become one of the nation's top diplomats. As a former classmate of Marcia has said, I can think of no more fitting exemplar of the MSFS program and the principle of service than Marcia. Nicole Bibbins Sadaka has served MSFS in so many different capacities. She was a concentration chair and then deputy director. During the COVID crisis and in the wake of the murder of George Floyd, she constantly sought ways to engage students in constructively confronting the problems of the day. Nicole has worked tirelessly to promote diversity, equity, and inclusion, both within the classroom and within our broader community. She used technology to connect practitioners and students to address the changing global landscape, especially the challenges to democracy at home and abroad. Now, she continues to hold the torch for democracy and human rights as the executive vice president of Freedom House. Raja Karstiyu Gundu has passionately fought for a more equitable and pluralistic world. He has facilitated dialogue and peace processes in Afghanistan, conducted tsunami rescue operations in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands, and created the first COVID resilient village in India during the Delta wave last year. Raja's continuous efforts to help humanity have transcended international borders and as such embody the MSFS program's emphasis on leadership, integrity, and inclusivity. Michael Samway is a passionate advocate of human rights. For 10 years, he served as chair of the advisory board of the MSFS program. In that position, he was an inspiration and leading light in promoting diversity in our student body, including the creation of the Future Scholarship. Michael worked closely with the MSFS leadership during the early days of the COVID pandemic to use Zoom in engaging global leaders and our students on important topical issues. Michael has also continually promoted MSFS students' careers by employing them in his program and by tirelessly using his networks to connect them to people from all around the world. The late Paula Lloyd devoted her entire professional career to public service. She joined the United States Army in 1995 and supported humanitarian and development projects in Korea, Afghanistan, and throughout the world. Tragically, Paula was killed while fighting for the education and welfare of girls in Afghanistan. Her friends describe her as a woman of extraordinary energy, empathy, and personal force. A person who worked around the clock and battled blizzards and bureaucracy to help others. Paula Lloyd truly encapsulates the spirit of MSFS with her selfless efforts to improve the lives of others.